Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer for Wednesday, June 10th. I'm Pastor Albert Triolo from St. Mark's Lutheran Church, and we're glad to have you uh, worshiping tonight for Evening Prayer. Let us begin with a dialogue. <laughs> Jesus Christ is the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right to, to give, give our, our thanks and, and our praise. praise. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being, and you set light in the sky to govern night and day. In a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, you led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful, and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures we give you glory, through your Son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Joyous light of heavenly glory, loving God of God's own face, you who sing creation's story, shine on every land and race. Now as evening falls around us, we shall raise our songs to you. God of daybreak, God of shadows, come and light our hearts anew. In the stars that grace the darkness, in the blazing sun of dawn, in the light of peace and wisdom, we can hear your quiet song. Love that fills the night with wonder, love that warms the weary soul. Love that bursts all chains asunder, set us free and make us whole. You who made the heavens splendor, every dancing star of night, make us shine with gentle justice, let us each reflect your light. Mighty God of all creation, gentle Christ who lights our way, loving Spirit of salvation, lead us on to endless day. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. O God, I call to you, O come to me now, O hear my voice when I Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. Keep watch within me, God, deep in my heart. May the light of your love be the light. 
Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. All praise to the God of all, Creator of life. All praise be to Christ and the Spirit of life. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. The psalm is Psalm 29. Ascribe to the Lord, you gods, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due God's name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is upon the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is a powerful voice. The voice of the Lord is a voice of splendor. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. The Lord makes Lebanon skip like a calf and, and Mount Hermon like a wild young ox. The voice of the Lord bursts forth in lightning flashes. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the oak trees writhe and strips the forests bare. And in the temple of the Lord, all are crying glory. The Lord sits enthroned above the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forevermore. O Lord, give strength to your people. Give them, O Lord, the blessings of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. O God of splendor, your voice thunders over the waters as you reign above the flood. Give strength to your people who are born anew by water and spirit, that we may praise your wonderful deeds and give you the glory due your name. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. We continue with, um, with God um, opening Job's mind to creation uh, in Job 39 with verse 26. Is it by your wisdom that the hawk soars and spreads its wings toward the south? Is it at your command that the eagle mounts up and makes its nest on high? It lives on the rock and makes its home in the fastness, uh, in, in the fastness of the rocky crag. From there it spies the prey. Its eyes see it from far away. Its young ones suck up blood and where the slain are. There it is. And the Lord said to Job, Shall a fault finder contend with the Almighty? Anyone who argues with God must respond. Then Job answered the Lord, See, I am of small account. What shall I answer you? I lay my hand on my mouth. I have spoken once, and I will not answer. Twice, but will proceed no further. The reading from John, the 14th chapter, beginning at the 25th verse. Jesus said, I have said these things to you while I am still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind all and remind you of all that I have said to you. Let us pray. Come, Holy Spirit, open our minds to your work around us. Lord Job challenged you, and for chapters you showed him how you have tied all things together, how you have created all things and, and set them in motion how you provide for the needs of even the smallest animals. 
how you are aware of creatures that, that we have yet to even discover. In 2020, Lord, we know that there are depths of the seas that we have yet to explore and creatures more uh, marvelous than our imaginations can, can ponder or wonder. But you know them, Lord. Teach us, we pray, with the power of your Holy Spirit. For, Lord, you breathed all things into creation. You said, let there be, and word and spirit flowed forth, and it was. You, Lord, breathed us into being. Help us, O God, being filled with your Spirit to see how you are leading us today. May we be your hands and your feet and your voice in the world. Through Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. Let us read the gospel canticle. I think we're singing the gospel canticle. Okay, we'll sing it. We'll sing it after the clock. What a friend we have in Jesus. Take everything to God in prayer. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you, Lord, have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. In peace let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. 
for the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For the health of the creation, for abundant harvests that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For all servants of the church, for this assembly, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, Keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. We wish you all a blessed night. We look forward to seeing you in the morning for morning prayer and hope you would plan to join us for Bible study at 1030 as we continue our study in Esther. It's a three-week series. No experience is necessary, and we will continue tomorrow at 1030. The link uh, is found on St. Mark's website on the church calendar. God be with you.